And here we have the settlement epicenter called the Lower Green. You can even see a little boat over on a sculpture created by the descendants of the people who settled right around here in this immediate vicinity sometime around 1635. They settled, this is their neighborhood. They settled in this immediate vicinity somewhere around 1635 to make Newberry. A classic salt box from yet another little circus 1715 and Looks like the tide's going out. All of the moored boats are facing in the direction of water moving out. So we may have been at the peak of tide up there in the marsh. We're about to cross the Parker River. We got a classic ye olde relic of some kind here. Man, that is some serious ye oldie. Newberry Point or something, it seems to indicate. Newberry Port? Who knows? But it's old. That's what we're looking for. And here's the simple sidewalk crossing of the Parker River. Minimum fuss. We came from that direction. There's another cool <coughs> property right down here, the Newberry Salt Marsh. And I'm heading this way, which goes to Raleigh. This way came from Plum Island. Yep, it's the funny boiling water phenomenon you see in tidal rivers when the forces of in and out are mixing, matching, and colliding. Some serious boiling. Not quite like Cobb's Cook Bay, but impressive enough. So there we are, looking towards the estuary that the Parker River helps to create. And this way looks up toward the uh, inland zone, eventually landing up by Byfield in the Parker River watershed. And ahead we go.